Why there's a growing frustration over coronavirus testing backlogs. While every day some are waiting for tests and results, others seem to have easy access. Across the country, testing troubles are increasingly bogging down the nation's coronavirus response. Delays in testing and inadequate testing uh, are making people sicker, are making the outbreaks bigger, and are leading to more deaths. The Trump administration has blamed some testing problems on mismanagement at the state level and says the U.S. did more than 800,000 tests on Friday. But today, Mick Mulvaney, the president's former chief of staff, wrote an op-ed for CNBC saying in part, I know it isn't popular to talk about in some Republican circles, but we still have a testing problem in this country. My son was tested recently. We had to wait five to seven days for results. That is simply inexcusable at this point in the pandemic, end quote. In North Carolina, Hugh Huffstetler was tested, then isolated in his bedroom in limbo. It's insane to me that it still takes up to two weeks, seven days, who knows, um, in order for these results to come back. Public health officials say skyrocketing demand is creating a shortage of testing supplies, such as swabs and the chemicals needed to conduct the tests. The delays, critics say, are making an army of contact tracers paid for by taxpayers essentially useless. Frankly, when you have a, a, a state like Florida that's on fire like this, contact tracing almost becomes irrelevant. It can't be done. Uh, it's kind of like trying to plant your petunias in the middle of a hurricane. And in Florida... There's mounting frustration that while ordinary patients wait in long lines, athletes are getting tested so frequently. One NBA player posting on social media that he's been tested 20 times since arriving in Orlando for the season. And in New York City, leaders are asking the federal government to invoke the Defense Production Act to expand lab capacity.